Hello and welcome to Cat's Studio. I'm Cat. It's nice to meet all of you. And today uh, we're going to be building fun folio, no pockets, and this should be a really fast uh, gift for you to make for family members and friends. Um, so let's get started. I pre-cut my pages. We'll go over that later. Uh, our mats for our pages. Um, you'll need some 65 pound cardstock, some heavyweight cardstock. Mine is 110 pound recollections, a scoreboard, a paper trimmer, a ruler, a pencil, and some glue. And I'm using Barely Art. I get this from Amazon. It's really good glue. This has lasted me like forever as well. All right, so let's get started with our cutting. Go over to the trimmer with our 65 pound cardstock. We need three sheets. Let's take th uh, three of them to the trimmer and I'm gonna cut them all three at the same time at four and a half inches on the 11 inch side. This is gonna be our waterfall today, four and a half inches. Now take two sheets of your leftover and also cut that at four and a half inches. Line that up nice. Cut that at four and a half. So we have five sheets at four and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna take four of those sheets back to the trimmer and cut on the long eight and a half side. We're gonna cut that at, to seven inches. So you will have four sheets at four and a half by seven inches and one sheet at four and a half by eight and a half inches for the waterfall. So let's go right over to the scoreboard and get that ready. You take your four and a half by seven inch pieces on the seven inch side and score at six and a half inches, each one of those pieces. Six and a half. And the fourth one, again at six and a half. All right, let's move that off to the side for just a moment and take our eight and a half by 11 inch heavy card stock on the 11 inch side and we will score that at six inches. I like to go over this twice just to make sure I've gotten a good score line. Uh, six and a quarter. And we're gonna turn this one over, just flip that and put a really light score line at seven and a half. We just need a visual here, not a fold line. All right, that piece is finished. Take our next piece and score at six inches. Six and a quarter. And we're gonna score this one too at seven and a half, or not score it, we're gonna lightly, oops, let's turn it over to do that so that it's on the right side. At seven and a half. So now we're ready to fold and crease everything. And I fold and crease towards the bubble.
right, now that everything is folded and creased, let's bring back our, put our waterfall pieces off to the side for the moment. Let's bring in our um, base pieces for the folio and open them up. And if you can see them, <laughs> go ahead and put a little pencil line at the top and bottom of that really light score line and just draw a line from one mark to the other lightly. All right, only on one of those. We only need one drawn in. The back one is just for reference for later if we need to try and line it up. All right, and then we're gonna glue this the right side to the left side up to that line that we just made. The whole, this whole tab here gets glued in. Just glue up the side, top, and right next to that pencil line, not on it. Lay your right side in, again, up to that pencil line and square up the top and bottom. Press that in. Flip it over. That should be right to that score line. I can't see it, I'm assuming it is. It is. All right, your folio is put together. Let's go over to grab our scoreboard so we can put our waterfall together and turn your scoreboard so that you have a, L, a letter L shape here and lay in your eight and a half by 11 inch piece, eight and a half across the bottom and we will glue, each piece gets glued in and lined up at the bottom edge. So I'll show you how we do that. Put that in, line it up, make sure you're in straight. Take an extra piece of paper for our pressing so you don't get glue on your um, scoreboard. I've done that <laughs> more than once. Alrighty, press that tab in, bring it back to the edge, opened up. And the next one gets glued right up to that tab that you just put in. So it'll all, each one will be a half inch down from the, the next, from the last one, I mean. Alrighty, put that one in. Lay it in straight. Hold that, out. Hold that up, see if that looks like it's even to you. Right here, it looks great. So go ahead and press it in. If it wasn't straight, you might wanna wiggle it a bit to get it straight. Oops. Watch that glue, because sometimes later on when you close the book, the uh, waterfall will stick together. <laughs> All right, open up again to the edge. Glue on the next piece. Right up to that last tab that we put in. Put it in straight. Check it. And press. This junk double checking. All right, the last one will go in. And we should be finished with the waterfall for now. See, wasn't that fast? Our our, uh, our book is, is basically done. We just have to decorate it now. All right, let's take a peek at that. I feel like that's not right. It's not, try again. I re-glue because that really stuck really good. 
All right, again, I was not right up to that edge of the tab. I mean, it would have been fine, but you know, I'm picky about that. All right, press that in and your waterfall is complete. Let's take it over to the book for just a moment and have a look at it in, in the book. So the book opens this way. This is the center and this is where your waterfall will live right here. So I believe I need to trim off about an eighth of an inch off of that edge there. back in and I probably could go a little bit more wouldn't hurt there we go okay perfect perfect fits right down to the edge the little bit to spare all right, let's um, put that off to the side. We're not putting the waterfall in until after we put all the pattern paper on. So I will um, do that to a little music. It won't take long because I've cut, I pre-cut all my pieces to five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. So that I'm all set and ready to uh, put these on. Now that we have all our pattern paper glued on, let's put our waterfall in the center. Right in the center of that page. So let's put glue on the whole back of the waterfall page. that last page up. I think some of my pages stuck together in there. <laughs> Press everything down really well. And now you're ready to decorate your folio with stickers and anything you know you can think of. And <laughs> This is supposed to be a Christmas uh, folio, so I have to make my own decorations because there are no Christmas stickers or tags um, in this uh, set. It's just um, pattern paper that, you know, is recollections, uh, whatever it's called. So I went ahead and cut out, isn't he cute? 
I went ahead and cut out a snowman with two circle um, uh, punches and just drew a snowman on, put a little ribbon around and glued it to the uh, snowman and just drew a face and put a little holly sticker. I do have some Christmas stickers that don't all match, but um, I think he's cute. And I'm going to make this a pocket, and then in that pocket, I don't know, it will be some sort of uh, insert, card insert, and then I'll put something here. So I'll be back once I've decorated. I just want to show you how I started and a little gift over here. Um, so I just want to show you how I started to the decorating process when I have a no Christmas themed um, stuff that matches this paper. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and the folio is finished. The Fun Fast Easy Folio is finished, decorated, and I just want to walk through it with you. I'll just slip the bow off. If you were given this as a gift, you could very well just put a bow on it and give it to whoever. Um, just slides off. And I did not put a closure on this one. You could put a magnet here, but I don't feel like it needs one. Um, all right, so we did a little tag on, on the outside and the snow here is a pocket. The snowman is glued here and I cut this out so that he could sit in the snow. And then there's a little gift here. I don't know if this is very Christmassy, but it's the best I got. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to show you, I put little snowman heads there. It does not interfere with, you know, putting your photos in on a mat. And that mat is just made from 65 pound cardstock. That's my little Toby, he's so cute. And this turned out really nice. I mean, I did find a, pe a sticker that kind of matched a little bit and some, you know, little, word sayings I had tucked away and then I put um, 65 pound cardstock here as well and I did I did a little decorating there with a stamp a snowflake stamp on each one of those and again these this fits with the mat showing you can see that and I would suggest if you're putting photos in this to use the um, double-sided tape this one here is the one I prefer. It's the Tombow um, double-sided tape, um, only because I feel like uh, glue bubbles up your image, your, your photos. I've done that in another folio and I made a mess. <laughs> All right, so that's the fun folio. A couple of uh, snowman heads and I'm done. And I think it looks really cute. That's the back page the back of it and again you could put a magnet here if you wanted to um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try this it's very easy it's very fast you put together in minutes and then you've got a space for a few photos here um, one two three four five six seven inside plus you could put uh, photos here and there if you wanted to um, so give it a shot. Let me know if you try it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and thumbs up, subscribe and share and leave comments in the comment section for me. Let me know, you know, if you like this tutorial um, and have a great day.